Rob van Vieren is joining me in studio. He has a lot of things on the go right now, but we are here to talk about his latest show, Life. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Amazing. Really? Stop it. <laughs> okay, so you can carry on Okay, now. okay, I will. Okay. We're here to talk about Life. Yeah. No, not Life in general. Life is the name of your latest show, The yeah. Baxter. What um, can we expect? Um, comedy. Oh, comedy so much comedy. Life. Uh, it is about life, but mm. it's about kind of every aspect of life. Uh, and it's it started as a reaction to a motivational speaker that I saw. Who was the motivational speaker? I don't speaker? want to name names. Okay. But it All was right. one of the, you know, the motiv there's so many of them in this country, those like overachieving motivational speakers who have to like paddle to Madagascar in a boat made out of wet wipes <laughs> to prove some sort of point. And like we're supposed to take that as like, oh, now my life has meaning because you're mad and you have too much time on your hands. I'm glad that other people think that. It does, doesn't it drive me crazy? That's what I think when I hear I'm like, I can't stories. relate to this. No. I can't relate to this. Yeah. So what, I must build a tunnel to China yeah. before like <laughs> I have purpose in life. No. It sounds dangerous. Exactly. It's and very and dangerous. uncomfortable. It sounds uncomfortable. uncomfortable to be that awesome. Mm. People that run like across a country to, to find... You don't have to run everywhere. Get an yeah. Uber. Yeah. It's easier. Mm. There's so yeah, there's all sorts of as you, I, I don't know if you picked it up, but I'm quite angry. I, I have I'm picked frustrated. It up. You know what it is? It's like modern life these days is it's because of social media. Everyone's projecting this perfect image of how their life is. No one's ever talking about like what a cuck day they've had <laughs> or how hard it is to pay the bond or to get your kid to school on time. No, it's like inspirational quotes across a sunsetted sky. It drives me mad. So I'm venting all of that frustration on stage and I'm having so much fun doing it. Now, you're a father. Do you touch on, on the frustrations of, of being a father in the show? Definitely. Yeah. What's oh, the biggest frustration of definitely. being a father? I'm not a parent, so I don't really Oh, uh, there's know. so they, Look, there's so much. There is, there's so much. But um, what I'm really struggling with is getting her to school on time in the morning, like getting her out of, getting her out of the house and into the car. It's, it, it, kids are amazing, but... But also for a kid, everything in life is, is, is truly like awe-inspiring and magical, mm. except for the one thing that your parent is actually trying to make you do. So like getting her out of the house is just a, it's, a, it's an opera. Like just breakfast, it, between every bite, she's got to do every freaking song from Frozen. I don't <laughs> want to build a snowman, okay? <laughs> I'm not interested. Do you get in trouble by the school or the teachers when, when you arrive yes. late? Yes. So then how do you... Yes, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Is the best thing I get for the me. looks and the... and the, She would really benefit from getting to school on time. Ooh, you must want to punch those people. No, I'm, I want to punch myself. <laughs> and like it just makes me feel like I'm an inadequate father. I'm failing <laughs> on every level. Yeah. I think a lot of people can relate. We can, eh? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping people are going to go, okay, I get this. Mm. I get this. This guy's being honest. This is what life is really like. That's incredible. Now we want to see life. It's at the Baxter Theatre. It's at the Baxter Theatre. When Theater. is it running until? It starts uh, on the 3rd of May. I've got two previews on the 3rd and the 4th before the actual official opening where all the fancy schmancy people come, like you. Um, that uh, Those two shows are half price. So book for those shows. Uh, half price, two for, two for one. Uh, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap. And you get to see fancy schmancy people. Fa no, they come the next uh, night. Okay. The fancy schmancy people don't pay at uh, all. Okay. You just get free tickets, and those people suck. Those, those are bad you people. suck <laughs> so hard. It's annoying. And then I run until the twenty eighth of May. It's at the Golden Arrow Studio. Uh, tickets are available at CompuTicket. Please, please come see my show. I think you should cry. I think that looks gonna work. I am crying on the inside all the time, almost constantly these days. Can you see the pain? Yeah. I kind of spat across the room at you there. I just didn't even see it. You it shouldn't have said anything. Just blew past your face. Here, this way. Yeah. But it didn't hit me. It didn't hit you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I have control. Yeah, but please come <laughs> see my show. Okay, <laughs> really. And you must book now, especially for those previews, because they, yeah. they, those tickets are selling really fast because it's half price, because everyone is cheap. Rob, thank you very much for coming in. I can't wait to see the show. I can't wait to see you there. At the show. Yeah, in your imaginary world where you actually come to a show.